Hello everybody. Today we are going to explain two grammar lessons in one lecture, which are the present perfect and the present perfect progressive. They are very close. Um, that's why I'm going to explain both of them together. Let's first start with uh, the present perfect tense. This is the third grammar lesson for this um, semester. First of all, we are going to talk about um, the uses of the present perfect and uh, the form of the present perfect tense. Present perfect is used to express the past recent events. What do you mean by past recent events? It means events that already happened. We don't say when or with time expressions including now. She's had an accident, I've passed the exam, but I do not state the time. So this is what we call past recent events. Um, in this case, we use some transitions such as uh, just, already, yet, recently, today, this week, and this month. So actions that were done in the past, but not in the very past, in the close past. The second use of the present perfect tense is when we express past experiences. We don't say when these events happened. So when you express these, um, when you describe these past experiences, you do not say when these events happened. Like for example, we've been to Rome and Florence. I haven't re read that book, so I do not uh, state the time. Usually, um, when I uh, express such actions, I use words such as never, ever, before, uh, superlative plus ever, like I have ever, uh, and the number of times. I've seen this film three times. I've traveled to America two times. If you look at the timeline here, and this is very important, by the way, you can see that this is the actions this is the action happening now. So this is now. These are the past recent events, the ones here. See, they are very close to now. While here in the second one, the actions are far away from now. So they happened in the past. Uh, so now the third use of the present perfect tense is uh, when we express unfinished situations or unfinished actions these situations started in the past and haven't finished yet so if you look at the timeline here you can see that these actions have started in the past see and they are still happening now so these actions are unfinished actions like for example i have been here all day so i came in the early morning here and i'm still here and for these actions, to express these actions, we use some transitions such as how long, for, and since. All time expressions, uh, like for example, all my life, all my day, all my week, and lately. Okay, so these are the three uses of the present perfect tense. So the present perfect tense is used to express past recent actions like or events like events that have happened in the past but in the very close past not in the very far past like I have passed the exam past experiences I haven't read that book yet unfinished situations such as I have been working all day Now the forms of the present perfect tense the form of the present perfect tense is the subject plus has or have based on the subject if it's singular or plural plus the verb but the verb should be in the past participle tense the verb should be in the past participle like for example i have lived in miami for six months so i is the subject have and lived is the past participle of the verb live in Miami for six months. Mary is the subject. Has moved is the past participle of move to a new house. So this is the form of the present perfect tense. The subject plus has or have plus the verb uh, and 
the past participle of the verb. Present perfect, as we said, usually comes sometimes with yet and already. Already, if you have done the action and you have already done with it. But yet is when you are talking about an action which is not done till now. Like, for example, I've already eaten. It means that I have eaten and finished eating earlier. So I completed this action. I haven't eaten yet. It means that I haven't completed this action, the action of eating. Have you eaten yet? Yet in questions is more neutral than already. Have you eaten already or have you already eaten? So yet and already are two words used in the present perfect tense. Already is used to show that an event was completed earlier. And yet is used when an event has not been completed. Okay. Now we move to affirmative, negative, and interrogative uh, sentences in the present uh, perfect tense. Okay, let's see. In the affirmative form, if I said, I have jumped. In the negative form, I haven't jumped. And what do I start my question with? I start my question with have. Okay, you have eaten. You haven't eaten. Have you eaten? He has cooked. He hasn't cooked. Has he cooked? So you always use uh, has or have to start the question with. Okay? So the affirmative is I have or she has based on the subject as we said. The negative is we haven't and she hasn't. And we always start our question with have you or has she, he or it. So you just change the um, order of the words. Here's an example of the affirmative, negative and interrogative. I have worked there. I haven't worked there. Have you worked there? As you can see, we are just changing the order of the words. She has finished her exams. She hasn't finished her exams. He Has she finished her exams? I'm using has here because she is singular. Now, what are the time expressions mostly used in the present perfect tense? They are ever, never, already, yet, just, recently, lately, since, how long, and many others. But these are the most familiar ones, okay? So, for example, I can say, I have never traveled to China. I have already uh, eaten my lunch. I haven't finished my homework yet. I have just arrived home, okay? So, um... I uh, bought a new car lately. Recently, I have watched a, a new movie. So these are some type ex expressions used in the present perfect tense. As you can see here, we have a, qu a practice question. The answers are given, of course, because this is just a practice. We have to put them in the present perfect tense. The weather has been. This is the verb. So you have to add have or has based on the subject. And you have to change the verb into the participle form. Been. We have washed. This is a question. Hasn't your course started yet? Emma has packed her suitcase last night. They have closed the factory. Really? When has that happened? Shall we play tennis? We haven't played since we were children. So as you can see, we are always changing the verb into the past participle form. And we are adding has and have. Based, of course, on the subject. If the subject is singular, like he, she, it, we add has. If we have they, you, we, we add have. Now we move to the present perfect progressive tense. Uh, and let's talk first about the usage of this verb. This tense is used 
to emphasis on duration of action. Emphasis means to make sure. I have been learning French since I went to school. So I'm telling you something real. I have been learning French since I went to school. To express anger or irritation. Why have you been disturbing me? Okay, I can say, why did you disturb me? Why are you disturbing me? But to express anger or irritation, I use the present perfect progressive. Why have you been disturbing me? Why haven't you been studying all this time? Okay, time bound expressions like since for lately or how long. Like for example, he has been watching TV for two hours. He has been smoking since 2015. Okay, they have been living here for 20 years. So this is called time bound expressions. So this is the use of the present perfect progressive tense to emphasize on duration of action, to express anger or irritation, and time bound expressions such as the examples that were given. Now, what is the form of the present progressive tense? The present progressive tense starts with a subject, then the auxiliary verb, then the auxiliary verb also but in the past participle, and then the base form of the verb plus ing. So the subject plus has or have plus been, and then plus the verb plus ing. Let's look at the example. I have been living so this is a present perfect progressive verb he has been singing this is a present perfect progressive verb they have been watching have been watching is a present perfect progressive verb so usually the present perfect progressive is form is the subject plus the auxiliary verb in the present tense it's either have or has plus the auxiliary verb but in the past participle which is been plus the base form of the verb plus ing now the affirmative negative and interrogative uh, forms in the past part past perfect progressive form let's uh, read the first example he has been playing football for two hours so the subject plus has or have plus been plus the verb plus ing the opposite, nothing difficult, you just add not. He has been, he has not been playing football for the two hours. In the question form, you just switch the words and you ask a question. Has he been playing football for two hours? That's it. Okay, so in the positive form, it's the subject plus has or have plus been plus the verb plus ing. In the negative, it's the subject plus has or have plus not plus been plus the verb plus ing. And in the question form, you use has or have to start your uh, question with plus the subject plus been plus the verb plus ing. Let's have a look at this exercise and see how we used uh, the present perfect progressive here. I am tired because I have been working very hard. So the auxiliary in the present, the auxiliary in the participle form, the verb plus ing. He has been writing letters all morning. Katrina is getting fatter because she has been eating too much. My mother has been peeling the potatoes all afternoon. Kathy has been attending a cookery course since March. So, as you can see, we used all morning, we used uh, all afternoon, we used since March. All of these are time expressions that show us that the action um, was done uh, and it was done maybe in the past and still happening till now and some of them are of course as we said uh, time bound sentences uh, or sentences that are showing irritation or anger.
this was uh, our lesson for today um, this lesson is very easy it's not confusing at all as long as you um, just memorize the forms and the uses of the verbs of each tense the present perfect and the present perfect progressive it won't be uh, difficult at all uh, so this was everything thank you so much goodbye